In the Roadshow kitchen this morning, our friends at Discover Newport have brought us this fine gentleman to my left, your right. He's Chef Ryan Loven from Caleb and Broad. Good morning, sir. Welcome back. Good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Great to have you here. Today we're making a rib biscuit and sticky duck. Oh, this is going to be quite tasty, isn't yeah. it? So we yeah, got take a, us through the ingredients. Okay. So we got uh, our sticky duck. We'll start with our entree. So All we right. got a basic uh, duck leg and thigh. All it's right. cone feed. Cone feed just means it's cooked in its own fat for uh, roughly two to three hours. And that's called what? Cone feed? Cone feed. C-O-N-F-I-T. Cone feed? Yep. Um, we got a fried poached egg that we're going to throw on top of that. Uh, I'm gonna, also going to make a hash that has uh, fennel frond, celery, a little bit of potatoes, onions, spinach. We've got roasted tomatoes going with that. Um, Korean barbecue sauce is going to go right over the top. It's oh, that's beautiful. where you have my attention. There you go. So uh, <laughs> onto our uh, onto our rib biscuit. We have two biscuits here that I'm going to flatten out, kind of make our own biscuit like a sandwich. So it's going to be a bun. All right. Um, I've got a St. Louis rib that we pulled all the cartilage and the bones out. I'll talk a little bit about that. This is all dry rubbed and everything. I've got my barbecue sauce that we make. We're going to have some fried corn fritters and then the. Uh, um, Brussels sprouts and cheddar cheese are going to go right on top. It looks pretty good just laid out right there. It looks good enough to eat right now, but you being the magician that you are, you're going to whip it up for us. So we can kind of follow your lead here. Absolutely. And talk about, uh, you know, Caleb and Broad, for people unfamiliar with you guys, where you're located, what so we need Caleb to know. Caleb and Broad is in Newport, Rhode Island. Um, we, we're all about, um, you know, home. I do home good foods. Uh, we want we, we want it so that you guys can come to our restaurant once or twice, twice a week. It's, it's not... You know, a lot of the restaurants are a little little pricey in Newport. So, you know, none of our entrees are over uh, $20. You know, we're, we're easy with the wallet. Good to know. We'll save yeah. you a seat, will you? I will, absolutely. Table for one. All right. Yeah, this is the guy right here, Chef Ryan from Caleb and Broad. He's here courtesy of Discover Newport. You don't want to miss the glorious prep process. We'll follow his lead all morning for now. Back to you. We want to send it back into the kitchen. Michaela, take it away. Well, we've got a rib biscuit and <laughs> sticky duck on the menu today. Caleb and Broad Chef Ryan is here, thanks to Discover Newport. A uh, couple elements that we really probably have to start addressing now, just to make sure that we're on pace here. Right, so I got the biscuit in the oven. Uh, biscuit's gonna take about uh, five minutes. So I'm gonna throw mm -hmm. some cheddar cheese. Uh, I'm gonna pull that out, throw some cheddar so. cheese right on the top, and then I'm gonna throw that back in the oven just to let it melt real quick. I've also got the duck and the uh, rib, or the rib already in the oven. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take that out a little bit later in the show. We're gonna put the uh, Korean barbecue sauce and then the other barbecue sauce on the duck and the rib. Nice. So right now we're gonna start uh, on the Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. Did, have bacon. you par cooked the Brussels yes. sprouts beforehand? Yes, they're cut, sliced, and uh, uh, and par done. So we're just gonna put the uh, the bacon right in the pan. Yeah. Let that go and throw it right in. We're gonna get them all caramelized. Par cooking something is a great time saver if you're having people over or you just want to make, you know, even if you're just making dinner for that night and have it be one less step to do. Right. If you par cook some things and then just exactly finish and then, it and off. you know you get to entertain the guests a little bit a little bit more than right. focus on cooking. So we're going to start on the hash as well. These are just potatoes. This, this is at the restaurant. I just take the French fries that we do. I blanch them in the in the fryer at 250, oh. and I mean it's a perfect hash. So we're going to just get that down. Interesting yeah. idea. Yeah. Maybe even some people have those freezer exactly. fries, and you it, got a couple exactly. left over. You, that you get the whole ride of fries at, right. at the store, and you know you go with it. So yeah. we're going to put the potatoes down. Going to add a little bit of garlic, a little bit of salt, pepper, and then the veggies. We got fennel frond. Mm -hmm. Celery and onions here. Delicious. And again, going. everything nice and well seasoned. The right. salt and pepper, the garlic that you added in that. So this is going to get deglazed with sake mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a little bit of goat cheese to finish at the end. Perfect. So we've got our sides going here. And then, of course, we're going to throw that in the fryer in just yes. a little bit. Take that duck out as well and show you that delicious biscuit. It's all coming up when we come back. Back in the Roadshow Kitchen, thanks to Discover Newport, Chef Ryan is here. Caleb and Broad is the restaurant. Rib biscuit and sticky duck mm. is what we are making today. He's ready to go. You also have some, yeah. some. I, I love the Brussels sprouts too. Yeah, so the Brussels sprouts are done. They're nicely caramelized. Mm -hmm. You see the bacon, bacon's nice and crunchy. So we're actually gonna throw, this is a fried poached egg. So what we do for uh, the viewers at home. That's an egg? Yeah, that's an egg. So you poach an egg, yeah. you cool it down in an ice bath, and then you get, uh -huh. uh, you just scramble an egg in a bowl. Once it's cooled, take the egg, throw it in the egg wash, throw it in breadcrumbs, cool it down in the fridge, and it'll turn out like this. Wow. Drop it in your fryer, and then it That is very cool. I never, I never even heard of that. Yeah. And how long does that have to stay in the, because it's, in the, it's in cooked the, already, right? Yeah, right. So in the fryer, it's literally till it's golden brown. Well, that's just about there. I'm gonna pull it out. Wow. That's that quick. Right here. Okay. So that's it. So Easy now, enough. It reminds me of like when people do fried ice cream. 
is something that you wouldn't think to fry. Right, to, to fry, and yet, then you see it. Mm-hmm, and you actually, crack right yeah, it's open. It's actually real it. big in the Caribbean. So oh, is it like, really? Yeah, not a lot of people know that. So, Michaela, if you want to pull this rib biscuit apart. So okay. we got the ribs. And take a look at this mm-hmm. biscuit, too. So that warm. That biscuit looks Cheese so on good. top. So we just put the two oh biscuits, proofed, put them on top. Yep. Cheddar cheese on the top once it's finished. Pulls right apart. Go. And the steam is still coming out yeah. of it. So if you want to put the bottom there, mm-hmm. you can take, take this guy. Let me get this All back right. over here. All right, teamwork. Mm-hmm. So this rib is a St. Louis rib. The same difference between St. Louis ribs and baby back ribs is St. Louis ribs has more meat in between the bones. Mm-hmm. So they're wider and longer. Okay. okay. So you still get the same amount of meat. Baby backs have them on top of the ribs. Got it. Got on top it. of the ribs. So huh. it's a, just a little different. It's, it's a preference thing. So we're going to throw the corn fritters right on top. That smells incredible. Okay. What Good. sauce went over those ribs? That's the barbecue sauce, the chipotle barbecue sauce mm. that we make at Caleb and Rose. And it so it smells good. Right. You can so really smell it. The sauce that she's about to put on is a smoked lime sour cream. So okay. you want to just drizzle that up, put the top on that, and we'll uh, wow. throw the Brussels sprouts as a side. Oh my goodness. Usually it comes with french fries, but this is one of our most popular sides, so we're going to do Brussels sprouts today. Mm-hmm. You can also do a side salad. we got multiple sides. Green In case you want. Yeah, what course. type of food are you making over at Caleb and Broad? So a little do, of everything? A little bit of everything, yeah. I, I like to focus on comfort food. Mm-hmm. You know, to it, get, it get shows. People, you got right. it. Get people in and happy, and they're, if you know if their stomachs are happy, then they're they're smiling. Absolutely. Will smile. So this, <laughs> is, yeah, this is the hash that we're throwing down. Uh, we got potatoes, celery, the uh, spinach, fennel, onions in there, as well as the goat cheese and the sake uh, deglaze. So mm-hmm. that's that's all. Um, oven roasted tomatoes. I'm gonna put that right there. And these dishes are both currently on the menu. Of course. Yeah. So this is the sticky duck ray with the Korean barbecue sauce. We're gonna lay that right on top. Lay that right on top. Exactly. Something like sticky duck or like sticky wings, something and along those lines. Yeah, they're gonna taste great. on the side. That's it. Easy enough to do. Yeah, of course. God, now it comes decision time of what do you want to try? <laughs> here, because let me get you the fork. You know, I want to try a little bit of the. I even just here. Give me this. Here, here. I'm gonna try a little bit of this here on the bottom because I know it looks great with the fennel and everything else. I'll dig in. Little shot. Give us a little try. Mm. That's awesome. Good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. That is so good. Mm. Are you incorporating a lot of um, winter vegetables and things around this That's time really of year? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we like to, you know, keep local. You know, keep it local. Um, we good buy point. our potatoes from uh, Quonset Farms. You know, mm-hmm. we we just we just try to stay with that brand. I mean, Broadway's came a long way. They redid. All of Broadway. Yeah, yeah we it noticed it. We beautiful. noticed that. Yeah, we noticed that. I mean, it's beautiful down there. So all the locals and you know all the tourists are starting to come up our way. Right. So hopefully we're geared up for a busy summer. That's yeah, well, great. And a good reminder to go there now. Yeah, we do ten. When it's maybe not as crowded. <laughs> sure. So, I mean, that's easy on the pocket. Ten dollars on a month. Every single one of our. Right. And I know uh, even though even the holidays obviously are over, summertime you guys are busy down there. But now is also a great time to be down in Newport. Mm-hmm. So many things yeah. are always going around on. Uh, yeah. tour, not that many tourists down right, there, exactly. which is also so nice. So you get to go down and really get a vibe you know, of what Newport is all about. So that's good. Awesome. Yeah. That's and good. plenty of delicious food too. Yes, We're going to feed absolutely. the whole crew so today. Good. If you want these recipes, just go over to roadshow.com.